Hey y'all, welcome back. I got a DIY. DIY I was telling y'all about yesterday is getting ready to get dark. I'm doing this outside and you'll understand why in a minute because I'm using this. This is white. This is like a baby pink. See the color there? And this is metallic gold. And this is a clear varnish. And this is utensils from Dollar Tree eating utensils, the plastic ones, and then these, here I go with the ASMR, somebody asked, I'm getting to my comments, yesterday I didn't have time to even sit down for a second, but I'm getting to my comments, and um, somebody asked what ASMR is, I don't know the exact words, something about audio, something I think, but anyway, it's the people who like quiet things, but they like a certain noise, a background noise, that's what it is. Um, okay, here I go. Here I go. Not ready. All right, so we're going to be making something today, guys. And I'm going to show you in one second. But I got to, I'm trying to tape off this mug. Y'all, I should have had this ready. I had to run out today. I went to Michael's because um, they had an, uh, an additional 20% off. Um, an additional 20% off. You even sell stuff. All right. Now, I got a piece of painter's tape. I got the Dollar Tree mug. I am going to, I don't haphazardly tape the top of this off. Right? And I'm not looking for the straightest line. And you'll see why. I'm not looking for the straightest line ever. I just want to get the very tip of it kind of done. Okay. And I think, I think I'm good there. Okay, and then I'm going to tuck this in, and then i got to go back over this with a little more tape. Just to close it up. So, see, I'm just going to close up that hole. I'll show you as best as I can. Let me try to get it. This is where I needed the scissors. One second. See how I'm trying to go over the top of it and close it up. And then cut this part off. And just make sure it's closed up. So, I'll show y'all what I'm doing in one second. I was I should have had this part done, but I didn't. Running these streets. I went in Michael's, y'all. They had I didn't get one thing. I had to, they have up to 60% off their Christmas stuff. Up to. Most of it is 50. And um I didn't get anything. It was nothing there that I wanted. That's how I tell y'all I'm over this whole shopping thing. Uh, so yeah, and I came out of there and then I had to run in Walmart for something and then um, for groceries. And then I went to Dollar Tree to pick up a couple things. I had to get, um, all right, I'm almost, I'm done this one. I'm gonna show y'all real quick cause I don't want it to get dark. All right, so I'm gonna just show you the one. But I got some that I did yesterday, so I'll show you. So now, what we're going to be trying to do is this. Hydro dipping. Y'all, these did not turn out the best yesterday. Because I wasn't 100% aware of what I was doing. Now, this one I did, I didn't tape off the top. Look, we got paint in there. So this could be for pencils. But I like the, um, you know, the way it turned out. So here's some more. You can do a set of four of these. These, I thrifted these mugs. So they were, um, I'm going to say a dollar or less. These are crate and barrel. And that's somebody's gift. Now, I'm going to try to show y'all what I'm working with. I'm only going to do one of these mugs I had brought two. But I'm going to do one. You want to have some gloves. Right? You definitely want to have some gloves on your hands with this. Because yesterday is where I had the problem. I had the cheapy gloves and it got my uh, nails all messed up. Okay. And then, like I said, I showed y'all the spray paint. I'm getting ready to tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. And then, I'm not going to make this a really long video today doing this. But when I tell you, you could dip anything in here. Um, I'm going to do a fork, a knife, and a spoon. 
and the cup, and that's it. Woo, y'all. Today's a day. It's 70 something degrees. It's beautiful here. Okay, so here we are, December what, 15th? <laughs> Texas. I tell you. Okay, now I'm going to tilt y'all down a little bit and pull you over here so you can see. All right, let me show you this. Turn you around. I don't have touch tone because <laughs> my gloves are on. See this? A bowl of water. Get a bowl you really don't care about. You see that? I got a bowl of water. It's going to be cool. Now, you know I'm working with issues over here. So, I'm going to try to tilt y'all down so you can see. Can y'all see the water? Okay, yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Move you back just a tad. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with this paint. And this is called hydro dipping. I'm going to spray some paint in here. I had already shook the can. Let me shake this a little more. Just spray. And you see the gold going in there? Okay. Then I want to do some pink. Let me shake that a little more. So I'm going to soft pink. And then I'm going to spray some white. And I'll probably do it again. A little more pink. And a little more gold. You can do it any, any color you want. I'm just using these because I thought it came out really cute. I mean, you know, I thought it would be really cute. Now, I got a little paintbrush the end of a paintbrush here you see that and I'm gonna just kind of move it around to give me some kind of a style right bring some of that gold in and then all you want to do I'm gonna do one of these first you take well no I'm gonna do the cup first because I want to get this design on the cup you take I'm holding it by the edge there right and you want to take it in get that side and then roll it just roll it get it to the other side and then look at your cup look at that y'all now it's got to dry but look at that you got a marbled cup pink gold and white it's on a white base and the white basically separates so I'm gonna sit this down for a second and then I'm going to pick up because that's my paint's still wet and it's still marble so I'm gonna just do this and move some of the paint around right and then I'm gonna come in with this and see Ooh, that didn't come in good on that I didn't let me try it again I went in crazy on that here you go with a knife so it's got some marble we got to wait for it to dry to see what that looks like but yeah you know, that ain't too bad. Stand that up right there. So it can kind of dry. It fell. Whatever. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all the the ones that are done here, right? And what I what you do with it second. So after all of that's done, and after they dry, like this one here is dry, you want to take your clear coat, right? And one thing I did notice, I'll let y'all know, after it dries, you might have a little water bubbles. So you just want to, after it's almost dry, like it's dry to touch, you can just pat it and it'll pop out and it'll just make some imperfections in there. You know, add to the marbling. But to seal it already, because I tried to wash these, you really, it's hard. You can, at this point, you can bake them or you put on the top glaze and then you can bake them in the oven. Remember I told y'all how you put them on a cookie sheet, you turn the oven on, say 200, 250, put it on 250. You put them in ice cold. You put them in right away, then turn the oven on. You let it go for like two hours, two and a half hours, turn it off, leave it in there overnight. And then come in the morning, they'll be cold again. And then you can take them out and you've got a permanent set of these. So now what I'm gonna do, turned it upside down. I'm gonna tilt y'all again. Y'all, I was rushing, but I wanted to get this done because I had told y'all about it. All right, let's see, let's see. 
how I can do that. Okay, now you see where I'm at, right? Okay, you see this? I'm gonna take this. Oh, my thing is off. This is the wrong one, but I'm gonna spray it clear. And after I spray it clear, these will go in the oven tonight. I'll let them dry overnight. And then I'm gonna spray y'all off my DIYs. Why they always gotta be janky? <laughs> so now, when if you're doing a bunch of them, let's turn this back around. If you're doing a bunch, how you clean this out, you can take a napkin and just wipe it out. Or if you just don't care, you take your hand and wipe it out. And then you start over with your same, you can do different colors. You don't have to keep changing the water. It's just once you use one of these bowls, like just really don't care about the bowl. I use the ceramic one because it's easier to, you know, deal with instead of plastic because the paint starts connecting to the plastic. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all we got to it, y'all. And you wind up with these. Let me move this out the way and we can show more of these. <sighs> yeah, this can be... Yeah, so the uh, silverware, I was just trying to do the ends. You see? I got a little bit. Once it dries, it's going to uh, look a little better. Right? And so, I just wanted to try it on there because I never tried it on plastic. And um, it, it's fine. You know, they're plastic. They're throwaways. But here's the, the cups. And... I'm hoping that the one I did today turns out much better than the one ones I did yesterday. We'll see. But, you know, that's fun. And like I said, little Tiffany and little, if y'all was on my live last night, you know who Tiffany and um, Justin is. <laughs> Them little bad kids, your friends' bad kids. If you imagine getting this from one of your kids, a little eight, you got eight year old, they don't have money to go out. So say somebody helps them to do this, and then this is a um, Christmas gift. You know, I mean, I just think it's cute. Something made with their own hands. Like I said, these were thrifted, no more than a dollar, probably less. And then these are actually from Dollar Tree. So they can go pick up a couple mugs from Dollar Tree and make a whole set for you. You know? And the, the funny thing is, if you don't like it at this point, you can wash this off right now and go back and do it again with a different, you know, thing going on. But this was a quickie. I just wanted to get it. It's hydro dipping. You could research it. I did a lot, you know, just checked it out to see what it was. And I just think it's so cute. And you come up with the cutest little design, y'all. Ain't that cute? So, anyway. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks a lot for joining me. This is Vlogmas Day 15. I am on a roll. Thanks a lot for joining me, guys. I will get into my comments later on tonight. I'm doing the clearing out my laundry room today. Cleaning the walls and cleaning out the vents and everything in there. I got to pull that dryer out because they don't do it here. Got to do it myself. And um, clearing out stuff I don't need in there. And then I will be in my comments for yesterday's video. But I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them below. If I missed anything, um, after this dries a little bit is when you take off the tape. Let the tape stay on. And what it'll give you, if you notice, I got a little line up top. You don't worry about it being perfectly straight because you got like, um, you know, marble effect going on. But it'll give you where you can drink, you know, without touching the paint. If For people who don't want to. It gives you a lip on there. But that's it, you see? And then it's just marbled, and you never know what design you're going to pick up from the water. It just latches hold to the cup. And none of them are going to be exact. None of them are going to be perfect, you know? But you just have a set. And the set basically is the colors, you know? I thought it was cute. And I wanted to share it. Okay, guys, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, I can't turn it off without taking the glove off. <laughs> this is a mess, y'all. I'm a hot mess. All right.